Hi, everyone. Well, you know, it's not so colorful anymore. February's over, so no more trying to dress up and be fancy with red clothes and sparkly purple and green clothes. We're into March, so it's back to plain old boring Nancy. But, you know, it's Friday night. So anyway, that I at least have a smile on my face, and you guys are here, and so we're going to have a little dinner. We're going to have another bottle of Wink Wine. It's my dad's birthday, so we're going to have a toast to my dad, and I'm so glad that you guys are here because we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Alrighty, so this just happened. Just a funny name for a bottle of wine, right? So anyway, we have got a red blend tonight. This is from Wink. But anyway, where are my manners? Hello. So anyway, hi everyone. I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Wine Diaries. Welcome to Friday Night at Nancy's. So anyway, we are here to celebrate my dad's birthday. We are here to have the last bottle of wine from my 13th box of a wink wine because my other one would have been out for delivery but it got a little delayed so anyway we will have that next week to start on we've got a little bit of dinner and uh is that all we've got going on yeah so we're back to plain old boring nancy i know i'm so sorry you guys but anyway you're probably noticing that hey what's that on you had nancy Yes, I have another tiara. So a couple of weeks ago, one of my videos, I had mentioned that, gee, should I get another tiara? What color should I get next time? And you know, one person answered me and his name was Alfred. And he thought blue would be a good color tiara for me. So I got my blue tiara on. We've got this and this is just from Shane. I mean, this is just from Amazon. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive. I got my Swarovski diamonds on. Well, crystals. It's for, I like to pretend they're diamonds, but they're crystals. And uh, yeah, these rings are all from Shane or Shein, however you say it. So just a fun night, but we got the blue tiara on just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of sparkle to a dull, dreary Nancy. But anyway, um, yeah, so it is going to be my dad's birthday. Well, it's March 3rd. It says he would be 96 years old. Um, this October would be 32 years ago that we lost him. And so this is a picture of my dad and me on my wedding day back in good old 1976. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of fun memories. My dad, oh my gosh, that smile on his face with the dimples. He had the biggest dimples and uh, just a fun, fun guy. Loved to play the banjo, loved to uh, play guitar. He was in uh, um, a band that he joined uh, with the local fire department in our town of Mansfield, Massachusetts. So they used to do like um, all the company, not company things, but the town outings and things like that. It was Smokey and the Bears was their name of the band. And my brother was in the band with them. And yeah, so just every kind of town function, they would be there playing. And then later on, the group kind of disbanded and he got some other people that joined them. And so they did like local restaurants and things, which I was never old enough to go into the restaurants because there were bars back then. And uh, yeah, I couldn't go in and listen to them play. But but they had a lot of fun playing. His band was the band at my wedding, so it was just a lot of fun. Ah, uh, my gosh, I remember growing up and um, my mom, my mom hated music. She hated music with a passion. My dad loved it. And my mom was working second shift and my dad worked days up in Boston. So um, 
he was home with us every night and he would take out his guitar or his banjo whatever he was in the mood for so he would be practicing for his band anytime like we had the glenn campbell the happy time hour and there was the johnny cash show and hee-haw and i think sometimes even lawrence welk he would just take out his uh, banjo his guitar and just play along and so those are kind of some happy fun memories i have growing up and you know, I wish I could have had some musical talents. I really didn't have anyone have any. I used to play the trombone. Yeah. And uh, it was my brother's trombone and I wanted to be in the band because, you know, my brother was in the band. And uh, so they said if I stuck with it for a year with the trombone, I could pick whatever instrument I wanted. Well, at the time I was in fourth grade. The trombone was bigger than I was. I was the only trombonist that they had. So I had to play. And, oh my gosh, I couldn't reach the last note, you know, and you go like this. Well, I couldn't reach the last note sometimes, so I would just kind of throw the uh, the bar out like this, and then I'd put my trombone up like this to try to catch it. And I remember one concert we were doing, and, um, yeah, so I had my own little kind of solo-like thing I was doing. And, you know, the conductor, Mr. Gallo, he would, you know, be doing his thing, conducting the band, and it came to my part. And instead of conducting the band, he went like this. And I threw my, my thing out like this and brought my trombone up and I caught it. He actually clapped. Yeah, I was not musical. So yeah, I did not stick with it to get something. I wanted something. I wanted a saxophone. Oh my God, I love the saxophone. I always wanted one, but I love listening to saxophone music. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for Wink Wine. So anyway, happy birthday, Dad. We will toast him in a second. But uh, the Wink Wine. So... I'm going to, of course, have my playlist at the end um, from the different wines and things that I've had with Wink. I'll have a video up there of opening my first Wink box. So for Wink, if you use my link below, it's going to take you to the website. Your first four bottles would be $29.95. From questions that you answer, they curate a box for you if you know what you love for wines you do not have to go with your recommendations you can pick whatever you want if you do take those first four bottles for 29.95 i would get a free bottle of wine thank you very much and if you decide to stick with it you like it enough to give it another chance after that every month it would be 59.95 shipping of course is free and on that second month i would get another free bottle of wine as well now of course you don't have to use my link if you go to the website it's going to be the same thing your first four bottles would be $29.95 but then I don't get a free bottle of wine yeah so that's how that goes but anyway so for my last bottle in my 13th box I got a red blend and I've got the cap off already let it breathe a little bit and it's so this happened and it's a 2020 red wine blend from France it's 14.4 percent alcohol and usually they tell you what the blend is but I haven't been able to find it anywhere so it says so this happened a red fine wine blend made irresistible ir I can't quite read it because you have to kind of go like this but anyway I think you guys get the picture uh, fresh and fruity so pour a glass a big glass and share the fun your empty bottle is destined to deliver. So this happened. That was kind of hard to read. Yeah, they needed to make the lettering different. But anyway, excited to give this a try. So in honor of wearing blue, I've got my Robin with a Y wine glass because she's got her Swarovski on. She's got blue. She's got a glass of wine. I love my Robin with a wine, wine glasses. And, um, she had a shop on a, a website and then she was doing it like on Facebook and things, but she actually, um, her husband is very, very sick. So she, um, has taken some time off to spend, um, his last days with him. So we all know, I know how that's like. You want to be there for him. So waiting for her to come back patiently and wishing her husband the best. Alrighty. So this poured it is a deep deep purpley red here it is coating my glass so that tells me it does have a higher alcohol content yeah that is really coating my glass anyway oh, happy Friday everyone 
Oh my gosh, this smells really good. Uh, it smells like raspberry. Some kind of spice. Something hot back here. Not quite pepper, but something spicy. Something soft like vanilla, maybe even strawberry. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy birthday, Dad. Miss you and love you forever. Mm. Wow. This has got a heavy, rich, rich texture. I wasn't expecting that from the, the red blend. I was expecting it to be kind of light to medium. I'm going to say, and to me, it's full, but I don't think they call it full, but it's got a really nice, velvety, smooth texture, like a nice, rich Merlot. But you got like the fresh fruits in here. You got the strawberry, um, some raspberry. It's soft with some vanilla and just something that's kind of heating up down here. I don't know what that is, but oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Um, it's dry, but it's not enough to dry your mouth out. It's nice, some soft tannins maybe, but oh wow. So this happened. I fell in love with this red blend. Cheers. I'm going to have to have another one. Cheers, Dad. Mm. That is really, really good. Alrighty, so get my cheat sheets here. Alrighty, so 2020, so this happened, Red Blend, a uh, product of France. Out of the 1,583 people that tasted this and rated it, it got a 4.2 out of 5. I'm rating it a 5. It says it's robust. Red fruit and organic. Um, they say in its medium body, dry, and the alcohol is 14.4%. It says tasting notes of raspberry, spice, strawberry, and vanilla. It says it's a playful blend and that's ready to pate. So this happened is the perfect patna for all your adventures. We all remember that one night, the night that has a shorthand all its own the night that we recall in Wedding Toast. Here's to that night. So this happened. Red Blend is made from organic grapes and has a robust profile that you just can't miss. Red Berry fruits explodes, explode out in the glass, anchored by cocoa and spice. Maybe that cocoa is what's giving it that kind of richness and that full flavor. With medium body and silky tannins, it's got you covered from pre pate to whatever ex exploits you get into, into. After all, we won't tell. And it says to serve it at room temperature or slightly chilled. Mine is at room temperature. It says it pairs well with pizza, pasta with red sauce, cheeses, and barbecue. And they did have a recipe with this one. And it, oh my gosh, it sounds so good. So they had it paired with a sticky pomegranate and black pepper chicken wings. I don't know about the wings because I make a mess with wings, but I would de definitely try try that with maybe some boneless chicken. Yeah, I'm going to try that. So, since it said red pasta, I was in the mood for some lasagna. So, I happened to take a little bit out of my freezer because I usually want to make it. I freeze some. And so, here's my lasagna. This will probably end up being about two meals. And uh, I really wanted to have some more garlic bread, but I thought the pasta was enough without the uh, garlic bread. I really miss my bread. But anyway, so that is my dinner tonight. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in and spending part of your day with me. You guys rock. You're amazing. I love each and every one of you. And I'm so surprised that you guys come back to visit. So anyway, what do you think of the tiara for just every now and then? Just, you know, not every day because, you know, I'm not a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little off there, but not that bad yet. But anyway, love to hear your thoughts love to hear what you're having or what you're doing this Friday night. Are you going out for dinner? Where you are? Is it getting warm yet? Are you having barbecues outside? Going out for dinner, having friends over? And maybe just sit and relax and Netflix Netflix and chill. So anyway, love you guys so much. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. 
have some fun. I love each and every one of you, and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.